Hi, this is Karen Janelle with ACNation.com, and we're here at CPAC, and we came across the Poker Players Alliance booth, and I wanted to talk to our friend here. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, yeah, my name is Rich Muni. I'm the Vice President of Player Relations for the Poker Players Alliance, a 1.2 million member organization devoted to fighting for the right to play poker. Wonderful. Now, we all know that poker it causes a little strife <laughs> with the people. And usually it's a state's right, except now with the internet, it's become more of a federal issue. And I know that you guys have been fighting a big fight federally. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Yeah, some gaming issues have traditionally been issues of states' rights. The interesting thing with the internet, of course, is it's, uh, it's cross-border by definition. So we have had some issues uh, in terms of how it's going to go forward. The uh, federal portion of it is, it kind of prevents having to cross-duplicate a lot of enforcement activities and, and regulatory actions because no matter what happens, no matter who says states' rights, it's still the federal government that's going to be taxed with, tasked with enforcing the, you know, how the internet would function in this matter. So we feel it's, it's appropriate for this to happen at the federal. In particular states where you all are fighting right now to where you need constituents to be calling their their local senators or congresspersons to help in the fight for the PPA to to get legislation that would be beneficial to the PPA. We need action in all 50 states. Everybody should be speaking of reaching out to their lawmakers. The easy way to do it is go to thepPA.org slash take action. We have action plans. I have a daily plan I write myself in conjunction with the poker community. It's a very good way for everyone to be able to take just two minutes a day and tell, even if you don't play poker, it's a good way to tell Congress that you'd like liberty, you'd like personal freedom. You don't, want, you don't care if your neighbor wants to play poker in his own home, on his own computer, you just don't think it's your business. Even if you don't play, you might still want some other rights for yourself, and this is a good way to stand up. So it's, it's really for every state, but there are some specific states like New Jersey, Nevada, California that are looking at legislation, and those lawmakers should understand that the people want that liberty as well. And so you had a recent case yesterday that there was some testimony on. Can you give us a little update on that? Yes, there is one issue where we already have federal legislation on gaming, and that's Indian gaming. It's tribal gaming with the uh, National Indian uh, Gaming Act and Indian Gaming Regulatory Act, IGRA. It's a very important bill. Uh, it was actually passed under the Reagan administration. Was the idea was you could help tribal interests become more self-sufficient with gaming. A and it's... Um, so there's already precedent there, so they had a hearing to see how internet gaming and internet poker as well as a subset of internet gaming would impact the tribal interests, and it's very positive. It was all that they saw the need to move forward on it, and they just want to make sure the tribal interests are addressed as well. We as players think they should be, because the more competition, the better for us. Great. What would you say is the one thing that people that support the PPA or poker itself can do in order to help the PPA move forward with its initiatives? Well, again, the first thing to do is visit the ppa.org slash take action. We have nine action plans. The first one's the most important one. Contact your representative, contact your senators. If you don't do it, somebody else will do it and say they're speaking for you. Um, my, my, actually, my boss told me that years ago, so I always have to keep in mind to just let them know because, again, somebody's going to show up at their office, and I see it here myself. Um, I live in northern Kentucky, and I'm always astounded whenever I'm here in the Beltway um, at how things can work. It, it's been very educational. So some people think writing and calling doesn't work. It does work. So do that. Um, and then try to take part in this daily social networking. We're actually reviewed by PC World for our effectiveness, and so we're rated very effective right alongside issues like Arab Spring and others of worldwide significance. So it's very impressive to me to see our humble movement um, you know, rated so highly in terms of the participation of our membership. And I would also say to the people who aren't so sure about online gaming, they should still support what we're doing because if we don't do it, the states will do it, and it'll just be lottery-based, um, and they'll shut out you know, they'll shut out free enterprise from the system. So as a conservative, I can't think of anybody who would prefer, you know, what's being proposed to what we're offering. So I would encourage, I would just encourage a broad-based support for our legislation. Sure. Are there any upcoming events that the PPA is going to be participating in that people can look for you? Um, there, are, there are always a lot. The best place to find them is on our website, thepPA.org. We've got them all listed there. Um, this hearing was a, was a great success, so we're pretty certain another one will be scheduled in the future. The date's not been set yet, um, but when it is, you'll be able to find that on the website. 
um, and I encourage everybody to try to just keep up with that and find out what's going on. All right, great. Well, thank you so much.